The best way to know a place and its culture is through the food. Food is that one ingredient that binds us all together. Which is precisely why I've brought you to this little village. Alchi is a quaint village that lies more than 10,000 feet above sea level. It is home to some of the coolest artsy Buddhist monasteries dating back to the 11th century. But in my opinion, there is something more to it. So what's so special about Alchi village? Alchi kitchen, which serves authentic Ladakhi food with a modern twist. Just look at all this mouth-watering food. Who is the man behind all of this? Well, actually, it's a woman. It's a superwoman, Nilza Wangmo. Nilza is an entrepreneur and a mom. And in 2016, she opened the first ever traditional Ladakhi cuisine restaurant called the Alchi Kitchen. Nilza, firstly, I love your place. It's so beautiful, so quaint, so cozy, Thank really you so pretty. Thank you. And the food, what I liked about it, it was so homely. I learned from my mother and my granny. Okay, so this is all home cooked, yummy home food. Cooked. But making even home cooked food yummy can be difficult when you're in the dark, where the temperature can go as low as more than 20 points below freezing point. So Nilza had limited options when it came to homegrown ingredients. But that couldn't mean that the darky cuisine is bad for business. What should she do? Well, businesswoman Nilza had some tricks up her sleeve. It was a risk on the other side because Ladakhi cuisine, uh, when you look at it, it looks bland. That's why I've given it a twist. Our special, uh, the same dishes are kambir. It's a local uh, Ladakhi bread with filling inside. Mm. So normally it's a plain bread with butter tea. And then chutagi, the pasta dish with the cheese and tomato. And then we make chocolate momos. Oh wow, yeah. chocolate momos, yeah. that sounds delicious. Yeah. Chocolate momos. Did Nilsa just combine two of your favorite things? <laughs> two of my favorite things for sure. I think she did. Is there any secret ingredient you use because it's so tasty? <laughs> Something, just tell me. Yeah, there's no specific in no, uh, secret it ingredients, has to be but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I cook from my heart. And on top of that, they have tea which tastes almost spiritual. Best selling tea is Tashi Staket tea, which has eight healthy ingredients. Yeah. So, in Buddhist culture, uh, we have eight symbols. That is called Tashi Staket. Tashi is auspicious, and Staket is the symbols. It has all the uh, goodness in one cup of tea. Mmm, you know? delicious, lovely. While food might seem like the highlight of Nilsa's career, it is actually far from it. Notice something different about this restaurant? The Alchi Kitchen has an all-women staff. Nilza gives these women a livelihood, upskills them and gives them a place to stay and belong. For which she has received the Nari Shakti Puraskar by none other than the President of India. When I got Nari Shakti Award, it was a very proud moment for, not only for me, for the entire Ladakh, I guess. So my uh, girls are from different uh, places. Some are from very remote areas. And they come and they stay with me. I give them a uh, quarter and also f fooding, everything. Like, uh, and now they are part of our family. You know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nilza is truly a superwoman. And let me tell you a secret. She has had a life full of challenges. But to be able to rise up like she did and to take others along with her, that is truly commendable. Hats off to Nilza, hats off to Alchi Kitchen.